Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to display your iPod touch screen on your computer. All this really does is, so you could pretty much, like, look at your iPod on your computer. It's not like SSHing where you could change the files and stuff, but it is so you could just, like, control your iPod on the computer and it displays the screen from your iPod on the computer screen. So, you, once again, you're going to have to have your iPod jailbroken, and to do that, just type in it on YouTube, how to jailbreak your iPod Touch untethered. This is the second generation, so it works for second generation. You're just going to want to type in on Cydia, screen, S-C-R-E-E-N, search. Go down to the S's. Scroll up until you see a download called Screen Splitter. It's right there. Just click on that. And click install right up here. I already have it installed. So once you install that, you're going to go back to search. And just type in V E. E search. This is called VNC, something like that. You're gonna want to install that too. I have it installed. So yeah. Now, um, you're gonna go on the screen splitter. It's gonna be an application, like it's gonna be. Here. Okay, so it's gonna be, um, on your page, and it's gonna be right there. Just click on that. and bam don't worry it didn't crash it's gonna say now that you've done that right on the thing it's gonna say on on screen splitter so now we're gonna go to the next step of the video which is going to be displaying it on your computer okay so make sure it says on on the screen splitter and once it's on, what we're going to do is open up Safari. Um, don't worry, this doesn't have to be on a Mac. All you have to do is download the Safari browser. Uh, the link for that will be in the description. And we're going to go up to Bookmarks. And we're going to click, okay, Bookmarks. and click show all bookmarks and right here you're gonna want to click bonjour and it's gonna come up with some options if you have the screen splitter on it's gonna say joseph kennedy's or whatever you named your ipod just double click on that and it'll open up a second window of your ipod and there's going to be a thing that pops up on your iPod. Just click accept. And there you go. You got your iPod screen on the computer. So watch. Turn the page. The page just turned on there. Click on an application. Facebook. Um... Facebook just loaded up there. I mean, so yeah, you pretty much just got your iPod screen on your computer. And so yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'm sorry about not having my, my screen recorder from my computer. I just wanted to make it a way to show you um, my iPod and my computer at the same time. So thanks for watching and please comment, rate, and subscribe.